Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here to experience the Aero Tram in Portland, Oregon. Hey there everyone, we just made it here to the Oregon Health and Science University which is located in the south waterfront here in the city of Portland and as you can see right behind me this is where the lower uh, terminal of the aerial tram is located. The objective for today's video is simple, is to explore this uh, lower uh, terminal area to see what there is to see over here and then get in line to get a ride all the way to the upper terminal which is located at the top of that hill over there. Another reason why I think it's going to be really interesting for you guys is that um, when I was doing research about this uh, particular place I learned some like drama related to like the construction of this structure and I think you guys are going to want to hear about that. And once we get to the very top we're going to do some exploring over there. I don't know how much exploring we're gonna be able to do because it is a university uh, but we'll see when we get there if you guys are interested come with me One thing to note is that we are in university property. I see a lot of the buildings have like a sign with the university logo on them. So I guess we can say that. Another thing that you notice right away is that there is a bike rental place right here. As you can see, this little lot has a lot of bike racks and a lot of bikes. Besides that, I think that is all for the bottom section. Uh, and here, this is where you get on the tram. But besides that, I don't see anything else really that stands out. We're gonna go ahead and walk to the back and see if we find anything else. But I believe that is everything uh, that you will see right here at the lower section. One thing that I forgot to mention is that there's also train tracks right here along uh, this section in the uh, lower terminal. Uh, this is I've seen multiple trains go through here, uh, different colored trains. I don't know if it's the same one or just different colors, but this is where they go through. As you can see, this is where you get in line. And if you look up, you'll see a sign that says Portland Aerial Tram. This is where you get your tickets right here. There's some automatic like ticket booths. The round trip for two people is 1020 and they accept a credit card, which is nice. That's our receipt. There you go, guys. And right over here, there's a waiting area if you just want to relax after you get off or before you get on if there's a long line. One thing that I noticed, and uh, this relates to the story that I'm going to tell you guys later, is that a lot of the people going into the tram are actually employees, students, or patients of the university. I've seen a lot of trams coming and going like very fast. I think the trip it's like four minutes so it's pretty fast so i would recommend for you guys to wait for one line to just get on and so you can be the first one in line that is my plan for today let's see how that works right now the other group just left so we're gonna try to get as close to the front as possible all right it's coming in the distance guys we're inside now hopefully we get some good views out of this we're moving guys we're moving up this is the lower terminal and we're moving. Whoa. It's going fast. And over here, we're gonna get the view of the, the skyline. As it passes the tower. All of this. Please watch your balance. Beautiful Portland. There's the other people over there. And we're all taking a peek. Check it out. Whoa. We're already like halfway. It's crazy how fast we're going. And over there again, the skyline of Portland. So nice.
hard. And we made it down, or up, I should say. So we're here, this is the upper terminal. And uh, from over here, we can also uh, get a cool view of the city. Um, let me show you. That is where we started. So that's the lower terminal. And over there, that is the city. You can't really see because uh, the tram is on the way. But yeah, that's so cool, guys. You get to see an amazing view from up here. The next step is to go inside. We're gonna go ahead and visit the university, see uh, if we can find a place to sit down, and then I'll go ahead and share with you guys the story I told you at the beginning. As soon as you go through those doors, it gets so quiet. It's like a library. We actually didn't go all the way inside the university. We found these doors right here, and we found this like outside area little section where people can uh, sit down and relax for a little bit. It is actually super close to the uh, upper terminal. As you can see, it's right over there. But I thought it was a really good place to stop and share with you guys the story I told you guys at the beginning. So this project started a long time ago. Today is 2019 and this project actually started on 2002. A nonprofit organization formed in order to start petitioning the city to find an alternative method of transportation from the lower section we were at at the beginning all the way up to here in the upper level of the university. In that same year, the organization sent the proposal for the development of this tram and uh, the city of Portland accepted that same year. Then the organization started a competition to find a designer that would design what it is the tram today. In 2003 this competition ended and they were the project to a company. Construction started two years after that in 2005. In 2006 the project was finished and it was open to university personnel and then in 2007 it was open to the public finally. However, things were not as smooth as you might think. A lot of things happened between 2006 and 2007 and I'll tell you guys about that right now. The initial budget for the project was 15 million which is a lot but it's I guess not a lot uh, in terms of like projects like these of this magnitude. Just one year after the original uh, proposed budget was accepted, uh, they had to do like some re-evaluation whenever the project was awarded to the design company. And after some recalculations, the project budget was estimated to be now $28.5 million, which is a lot more money than they had originally estimated for. It is safe to say that the city was not happy with this and especially the citizens who lived right below where the new tram was supposed to be constructed. This became even worse after there were some other re-estimations which raised the total budget of the project from 28.5 that I mentioned earlier to 40 million and then to 45 million. Imagine that, a project that was originally supposed to be 15 million going all the way to 40. That is insane. So the people weren't happy, they threatened to sue the organizations, they threatened to sue the university because all of these things that are going on. The commissioner actually started a uh, independent audit on this whole project and they discovered some very nasty things. One of the most interesting things that came out of that was the fact that they uncovered some conversations between like upper level management in the university who were involved with the project um, that they knew from the very beginning of the project like from the very first budget that they um, estimated that the project was not gonna be just 15 million dollars so that's kind of sketchy on its own at the end of the independent audit the executive in charge of the project as part of the university was ousted and the city of Portland also threatened to end the project in the midst of construction. The people were not happy. They thought that uh, those tax dollars could be used to something better than creating a tram that had very little public benefit. Um, and this is because the tram was supposed to be free for the university employees, the workers, and students that uh, came over here. But the people had to pay something uh, for it. So they're like, oh, who is gonna come all the way over here? And you might say, well, the access, as you saw uh, at the beginning, is uh, really easy for, for everyone. But over 
here at the top it's very easy for people in the university to access it but the people if, if a normal person wants to get over here they need to navigate through the university and the hospital and it's just a hard task it's not it's not fair the last budget that was set for this project and the one to be honored actually was 57 million dollars <laughs> so we went from 15 to 28.5 to 40 to 48 to now 57 million that is crazy in the end and with all that drama the tram was finally finished and now it is an attraction of the city of portland i mean when we were trying to find things to do uh whenever we came here that was one of the most popular things that we saw on many websites hopefully you guys enjoy the story i think it is always great to learn a little bit about the places you visit and uh, this was something really cool for me at the beginning i was like the trip is so short uh, at least we'll come for the view and as i got more into it i discovered that drama and i was like whoa that is something spicy that is something i want to know about anyways i think we're gonna go ahead and head back we have some more things to do but this is definitely something Something that we wanted to check out and we can cross it off the list finally going back you guys we'll show you some of the views uh, going down we'll catch you guys as soon as we get to the bottom Just like that you guys our experience here at the aerial tram in Portland is over I think that was so much fun hopefully you guys think the same and if you do always remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one hopefully you guys have a good one and I just want to remind you guys to always be kind have an open mind we'll see you next time